This is Umar Ahmed, FireFell TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at Boxar Gym today in Mill Hill, joined by Tom Little. Um, obviously, you didn't go your way the other night against Daniel Tom. Um, no, yeah. that's, that's boxing. That's boxing. Um, what can you do? Mm. What have you been sort of doing then since then? Uh, just t just healing like. I was unfortunate I, in the in the opening round. I, I broke my hand in two places and then uh, fractured it in another. Um, so like, just fr so frustrating. Like, do you know what? I'm I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them to make excuses about injuries because I, I I personally believe injuries part of sport. And as an athlete, you've got to be prepared. If an injury arises, you've got to deal with it. Do you know what I mean? Like that—that's just part part of sport. But obviously, a break in your hand, it do India somewhat. Um, like it was throwing me distance off because you got that niggling feeling. Like you can imagine when you got a few broken up bones in your hand, the pain that, that you're going through. And um, I. I was sort of tentative about throwing me jab because I, I thought, you know what, just suck it up and throw it. Because he's a he's a very heavy-handed young man, um, so it just it just it just everything that could have went wrong for me that night went went wrong for me, you know. But that's sport, that's mm. life. Pick up, dust yourself off. I'd love to fight him again. Love to. Not going to speak too much about it now because I'm in no position to. Um, I, congrat I, I went and congratulated him straight outwards, but again, I give him him, him and the team all my congratulations because mm. regardless of if my hand went or not, I, I'm a man and I, I look up and say, listen, he was boxing well anyway. Do you know what I mean? It was an hard night in front of me anyway. Do I believe I can beat him? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I do. I, I do believe I can bet I can beat him out out box him. I can't out punch him because he can punch like a mule. But I believe that. Well, listen. From round one, I had one arm, and it took him five rounds to close close out. If I would have had two arms throwing, it would have been a hard night. The the outcome could have even been the same. But I would. I'd just like to know with. Both hands firing, do you know what I mean? Just for myself, yeah. more than anything else. So I'm gonna go away, get a couple of wins, and then hopefully me and Ian, I'll, I can bump into him again. Mm. I've got a big enough mouth, I might be able to force the issue. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think after the fight, obviously we saw you uh, on a video on IFL go and go into his chamber and crack leg. You got a lot of praise and credit, as you should do, uh, for doing that as well. Yeah, uh, that, that's nice. Uh, listen, do you know what? Daniel's a quiet soul, and it's, if anything, I've done Daniel more favours with everything, with all the antics and everything. Don't be wrong, I've done everything for my own reasons, so I believe if I could get him emotionally involved, because of how quiet he is, yeah. got emotionally involved, I could bring something out of him, but he was very mature and collective on the night. There weren't no rush in his work, which I, which I aim to draw out yeah. of him, do you know what I mean? But it's boxing. Boxing's physical show business. That, that's it. Do you know what I mean? But I, anyone that knows me personally knows. Like, I'm, I'd rather help someone than injure them. Do you know what I mean? But um, just didn't need all my plans. Sort of <laughs> went up in a mi mist of pile of piss and shit. Really. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I've just got to heal up and move on. Yeah, um, obviously a lot of hype around Daniel now that you have shared a ring with him. Um, sort of, do you think that hype is, is is right? Do you know what? Just because I'm lost, I'm not going to sit here and, and and big him up to the to the foot fullest. I'm I'm an honest person. Um, I I know my level, and like my my level's higher than my record suggests because I've I've never been looked after or, or pampered, I've, I've took hard fights and I'm, the main thing is I look after myself so I, I, I fight out of pride's sake, do you know what I mean? I'm a very proud person but for Daniel he's very good for his age and where he's at but there's also a lot of good talent about that they might just want to 
really mean because they've got time on their side. I'm sure Frank knows anyway. Like you don't need telling about that, but he's good. But there's things that can be exploited in him when you look at like the fella I fought in Latvia, that Filip Hergovic. He like I don't think Daniel was there. I think Nathan Gorman got the beating of uh, Daniel at the moment. Gonna come on to that. A lot of people wanting that fight between Gorman and uh, Dubois. Yeah, but, but you know. to be honest with you, I'd like to, I'd like to see both. They'll obviously make enough money anyway, but there's no rush in it. They'll, they'll have it when both of them, when both of them, uh, have a, like it makes sense for everyone. Oh yeah, we want to see it now. We want to see it now. Mm. But for the two boys involved, listen, this is business. Let, let them go and make the fight worth some proper money, and then they can both go their own own individual ways for a minute or two. None of them is going to get beat anytime soon. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So just just put it on ice for a minute. Mm. I believe Nathan Gorman beats him. I noticed a few things with Daniel that if God willing I get the chance again, I'll, I'll go about in a complete different way. Um, and it's the things that I noticed that I believe Nathan Gorman does very, very well, naturally. Do you know what I mean? So I think, and I know that they work on, on, on Daniel. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Having stood in front of him, like you, know, you get a feeling of what would work, what wouldn't work. I was a bit limited on the night for injury sake, but I, I just generally believe that. Nathan's got that bit of thing because when <clears throat> when people saw that when Daniel knew that I weren't bothered about his punch power, yeah. you see him having to start to think, and he was very patient. But I just think Nathan will have that bit too bit too much guts and a bit too much um, in them necessary areas. I don't want to say what what they are just in case just in case I do get lucky enough to to fight them again. But there's some there's some opportunities to be exploited there. With him. But he, he will go far. There's no no two words about it. He will go far. Just don't rush nothing yet. Mm. Okay, let's uh, talk about the two Furies. We'll start with uh, obviously you know them very well. Start with Huey. Um, seen on Twitter that he could be you know, in the eliminator for the IBF against uh, Kubrat Pulev. Um, how do you see, if that does sort of happen, how do you see Huey's chances in that one? Huey's a very good boxer. Like, you can't count him out against anyone, but I think, I think Pulev's the dark horse of the division. Like, he's a lot better fighter and boxer than people give him credit for. Like, I'll be honest with you, I, I think, person himself, I think Eddie Earn knows that Pulev's more dangerous than um, Povetkin. If okay. uh, like that's what I that's what I think because that like David Price is an excellent fighter and he got enough power to put anyone in trouble. But I think there was a little bit. It seems to me like when everyone anyone gets busted on steroids, they're never the when they come back clean, they're never the same as what they were. I suppose that's why they call it performance enhancing. <laughs> but they're never like, they're always a bit more vulnerable and it's like they know psychologically that they're there without something mm. helping them, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I just I think um people have that bit more mentally strong as well. Well, so I think that's a hard fight for Yuri, a winnable one, because I believe he's at that level, which he proved the other the other day, but it's um it's just who prepares better, I suppose. Yeah. And uh, his cousin Tyson obviously made his return. What do you make, firstly, of his, of his return? Yeah, but he's doing everything that he needs doing. He's going to get a bit of smack. He's going to get a, like, let me put this way, I've been off the social media myself since the fight, yeah. so I knew I was, open, I was going to take an arse <laughs> kicking. Um, but, because he, he's so out there and he's so loud, Anything that people can grab onto, they're gonna, they're gonna try and kick his ass mm. on it. But he's doing what he was best for his career at this moment in time. Other promoters 
are going to try and put what he's doing down because they know he's the real danger man in the division. Like, he, he's the man that could really upset the pantomime that they've got. Not pantomime because just real, like, but the happy little fairy tale they've got going on at the minute with all these ideal fights. He's the, he's the spanner that, for my opinion, he is going to be thrown right in the works. But, Joe, you know what? Joe, you know, one fight on board that like more than anything I wanna I wanna watch Good. is um Takam Chisora. Chisora, yeah. That's a now that's a fight. Quality fight, yeah. That that's a that's a fight, that's a proper yeah. someone's getting ripped up. <laughs> 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 like, that, that, to me I'm more excited about that than I'm the main event. Like White Parker. Yeah. yeah. Like that's gonna be a good fight. That's a, an absolute cracking card. Mm. But but I think that's going to be the fight of the night. Yeah, yeah, I think a lot of people are saying that. Yeah. yeah. Do you reckon Chisora will come out on top? He kept tissing it. I tell him straight to his head, like, it's whatever him turns up. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Well, what him turns up, if if a switched on Derek turns up, he'll take some unbuckling. And um, especially fighting the fight that Takam will bring to, towards him mm. and the fight that he'll he'll bring back towards Derek. I think he just made it. Like, he's got no choice but to turn up because they're going to be both throwing leather for as long as the fight lasts. Yeah. Can't see it going around, so can't see it. Someone's getting tired. I think someone's going to get stopped late. It, I think okay. it'd be down to exhaustion more than anything because mm -hmm. they'll both be letting go mm -hmm. from early doors, wouldn't they? Yeah, it should be a good one. Um, back to Tyson, we've got this date announced August 18th at Windsor Park. A lot been said from Tony Bellew, sort of saying to Tyson, have a couple of more fights and in December we'll get it on. What do you sort of make of the, uh, Tony not wanting to fight Joshua Wilder? He said that he won't do it, but he, he, he sort of wants to fight Tyson. He's got no attachment to Tyson, has he really? Like, he, he's got no, no attachment that he can have a fight there for a big money. And, but I'd, I wouldn't sit here and cuss Tony out. Um, because I like Tony, and he, he's a nice, nice fellow. Like, I've got a lot, a lot of time for him. Um, but you don't need to be a brain scientist to see where the man's trying to make himself feel quick, and he? Do you know what I mean? Listen, he's, it's a massive fight, isn't it? Mm. Anyone who like anyone who gets in the ring with Tyson, it's a big, it's a big fight yeah. because of Tyson. But Tony brings that to the table as well, because now he's a big name, like that's a that's a potentially me mega mega fight, but honestly, does I, he have any chance in that against Tyson? I don't want to sit here and like feel like I'm being. What's that, but I, I can't. I believe Tyson's the best heavyweight on the planet, so I don't believe there's an heavyweight on the planet to beat him. But I could be wrong, but I don't think I am as far as that's concerned yeah. like you don't understand how good he is until you stand in front of him mm. and like he's you can't hit him like I'm, I'm six, I stand six foot six I've got I've got I've got a fast left hand I've got good upper body movement and I I can close a gap on him it's going to be even harder for Tony mm. to do that but Listen, if they have a good fight, they're both my mates. I, 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 I'm the best man wins, and they both come out safe to their families. They, that's the main thing, and they get paid the money they deserve for it because you can be, be a long time sitting on your fucking ass. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, back to you, Tom. Sort of what's what's next for you, obviously after that defeat? Do you know what? I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna I'm gonna let myself heal properly. I'm gonna try and well, not try. I'm not, I'm gonna shed a lot of weight. I'm the, I've made the decision. I'm gonna I'm gonna start getting a bit of weight off. I'm gonna I potentially have a look that if the weight comes off all right, I might have a look at going down to cruise the weight. Oh really? Um, yeah. But if it because fresh start, for, mm -hmm. like fresh fresh crop there. But we'll have, I'll only know once once weight because I'm I'm carrying quite a bit of weight weight on me so I think I'm, I'm going to try and give myself the best chance that I possibly can to do something and just go uh, what wherever it takes me I just want to focus on that British 
British title really, like try and get round now. I, I think I've proved that I can operate at a, at a certain level that I don't, I'm not out of place. And not at one point did I feel out of place there with that Daniel and they're tipping him to be the next, the next hot toffee, mm. you know what I mean? Like really looking at that, that was a better fight than it, than what title it was up for. Not No disrespect to the English title, that's prestigious title, but it's just, just shit happens, isn't it? I'm, I'm still genuinely proper gutted. Like I, I wake up in the morning, like, oh, for fuck's sake, that really happened. Do you know what I mean? Like the only reason I knew I was down when I, when I got dropped with the body shot is I rolled on my hand and I felt the electric shocks going from me. I was like, shit, I'm down. I'm like, <laughs> get up. <laughs> because people said that I got up real quick. I, I didn't even know I didn't even know where the count, count was at, if I'm honest. Uh, I got up and I heard six. I was like, oh, well in time. <laughs> I've got, got plenty of time. But no, seriously, they snapped me in two. <laughs> All jokes like, they broke me in two. All right, Tom, thanks so much for us today. I appreciate the time. Um, anything you'd like to add? No, nah, listen, just thank you very much for all the support. Thank you to Coop and all the, all the boys for like all the all the coverage and everything. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Yeah. And I'll be back to winning ways. All right, top man, Tom. God bless.